understand a little bit about how we can log, let's go ahead and, and demonstrate that in one of our applications. So I'm going to go into my web dev folder and then go into step seven. And, uh, you know, one thing we can take a look at the readme here, we can see a little bit about this and it's going to tell me, well, I should probably check the requirements. Uh, so let, let's take a look at that. We'll, uh, we'll get at the uh, requirements here. So <clears throat> one difference that you'll see in this requirements file is that uh, we were previously using Flask as part of our requirements, but now we're adding Google Cloud logging. And this is basically telling the App Engine container, we need this library, so make sure it's installed, make sure it's ready. So Google Cloud logging will allow us to take advantage of some of the more, uh, more um, sophisticated features that are in the uh, Cloud Console logging here. Uh, and the other thing that we'll have is in our main file. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and, and take a look at that. We'll open the main.py. and You can see we're importing google.cloud.logging. And this is going to allow us to take advantage of that down here. But logging is really simple in the base in the base level. So if we import logging, all we have to do to send an informational message, you can see here, we're taking this first app route, we're going to send this to, uh, to just the main page. And uh, we're going to have a warn so that we can log a warning message. And then we're going to have an error so that we can see what that error message is. And then we'll have another one so that we can set up cloud logging and see the differences there. So let's, uh, let's go ahead back to the terminal. We're going to deploy this G cloud app deploy. And that's all good. This is going to take a, a moment, you know, as we know, so we're, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to wait just a moment for this to, to fly. So, um, we're going to go back, uh, and in the meantime, we'll take a look at some of these things in our, we're going to click on the hamburger menu up here at the top, and we're going to take a look at some of these services. So I have some things pinned here. Uh, if we scroll all the way down to operations, uh, which is right here, you'll see logging. It's nice to pin logging because it's something you're going to be referring to frequently. Uh, and this will allow you to get into your logs explorer and some of the, you know, you can kind of look back at things that have happened. There's also under server list, there's an app engine, uh, area where you can see information about your instances that are running the different services uh, or the different instances the versions that are running um, so you know every time you deploy there's a new version this allows you to very quickly revert back to an older version it also allows you you know like one thing that you'll find is that sometimes you'll deploy your application and your uh, your your version won't update so sometimes you need to come in here and just manually uh, migrate that traffic to a, to a new version but this is a nice feature as you're mod making modifications on a real uh, live application so that you know if you do need to make a change you don't necessarily have to tear down the entire service so it looks like we are now uh, we're, we're good to go here uh, on our application so I'm gonna type G cloud uh, app logs tail and now we're gonna just kind of wait so I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna navigate to our, our uh, application cs1520.appspot.com and when I hit enter uh, that's going to log a new, uh, once that loads, it's going to log an informational message. And one thing that you'll know, notice is that, you know, when you get into these log entries, um, it's not going to be super quick. Sometimes it takes a moment for that to, that to update. Uh, but we also have, um, we have a, a warning message that we can, we can output here. And uh, we also have an error message that we can output here. And uh, again, like I said, this isn't going to be super quick. It might take a couple of minutes to show anything. Um, once it does, it'll probably show you a backup of your logs for you know a few minutes possibly. Um, but once that's actually operating properly, you'll see the the line by line updates here. Uh, you know, as people are using your site, as you run into problems, as things are going on. Um, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and we will run uh, the GCL script here. Uh, remember, if we go back to our editor, this is the one that's just going to set up cloud logging. All we really have to do is set up, a, a create a client, get the handler, set up the logging. Then everything else is just going to work with the standard logging library. So um, we'll, uh, we will go back here. We will enter GCL. Our cloud logging is now set up. Now if we hit info, or I'm sorry, not info, just a plain index.html, uh, we'll get an info message uh, and we will get a warning message and we will also get an error message. So those are all going and now you can see these have loaded. So you can see uh, a lot of the traffic that's been going on here. You can, uh, you know, we had an error uh, a couple of minutes ago. We had, uh, you know, look like we had a warning. So you can kind of see how this is going to allow you to see the, the live information. And, uh, it, you know, it, it backs up a little bit. Like I said, it takes a moment for that to get running. Uh, but once you get those, you should be able to see them. So if I go back and uh, enter uh, info here. Oh. 
we should see that reasonably quickly now that it's actually connected effectively. So can run that, give it maybe a warn here. Not quite real time uh, app logging, but it will give us uh, the information. So you can see there's the uh, there's a get, you know, we, we retrieve that get and then there's a warning message. So yeah, it takes a moment for that to happen, but you know, you can also see uh, the, the, some of the, the, like the HTTP request code here, our request um, HTTP response code. Uh, so if we go into our logging now, we should be able to see some of this or some of these messages that were just sent. So you can see here, uh, someone opened the error page and you can see that's, uh, that's now available. So we can see more details on that. We can see uh, a couple of different attributes for this. So uh, this might make it a little bit easier for you to, to debug and understand what's going on in your applications. Uh, you know, you can kind of add the logging as necessary. Instead of just simple print lines, you can add the logging as necessary and see all of this in your application. So hopefully using this, you'll be able to, to explore what's happening in real time a little bit more effectively, troubleshoot and debug your applications. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, good luck uh, troubleshooting.